In this video, we will cover the current selection methods Surveyor 2.0 has to offer. You can select either the Free Move tool or Find Placement tool and left click on an asset in the world to select it. One way to extend your current selection is to hold down the shift key and continue to left click on additional assets that you wish to include in your selection. You can double left click to select all instances of the one asset in the surrounding area. You can also double left click on splines to select the entire spline between junctions. The marquee tool is great for area selection. Left click and drag out the marquee tool to select everything within that area. Marquee selection is available when using the free move tool, free placement tool and marquee tool. The asset palette has a drop down filter option that can help with selection. We will change this to filter selection which allows us to only select assets in the world that are shown in the asset listing. We will use predefined asset listings in this example but you should read about pick lists as they allow you to create custom asset listings that you might find useful when building your routes and sessions. Let's filter on the scenery asset listing. Now when we use the marquee tool to select everything within an area, it only selects those assets that are in the asset listing. If we change the asset listing to the track preset, then select everything within an area, only the track is selected. The asset palette filter option stays true when using any other type of selection. The filter visibility option can also be used when making selections as it will hide any assets that are not in the asset listing.